okay this is lecture 5 uh, last lecture we have seen what is the equation of plane uh, and while finding equation of plane we have considered three cases three distinct points are given uh, two points and uh, one vector is given and one point and two vectors are given in that case we can find out equation of plane and then i had given you to find out the condition for coplanarity of four points and i hope i had finally given the results and you uh, must have proved it by now let us solve few problems based on whatever theory that we have developed now suppose abc are non coplanar uh, vectors and these are the four points position vectors of the four points given in the plane you are supposed to prove that these four points are coplanar so problem number one this prove that these four points are coplanar pause try your level best to prove it it is a simple problem and uh, mostly you will get it okay so pause the video and check it answer answer is suppose we call each one of them this is a b c d then what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to create a vector ab vector ac and vector ad and show that they are coplanar so these three <coughs> vectors we are supposed to show coplanar and therefore any one of them is a linear combination of remaining two if we prove c minus a is equal to t times b minus a plus k times b minus a now there is a problem c means this we are supposed to write c as this okay so maybe this notation is not correct so you write it as vector ac is equal to t times vector ab plus k times vector ad if we could prove this by suitable values of t and k uh, i think we should get the coplanarity and uh, of course you will have simultaneous equations and all those equations must be consistent value of t and k that you will find out by using say uh, two equations should be satisfying the remaining equations that you get this is how you are supposed to solve this problem and i think the numbers are designed in such a way that these are the four coplanar points so this is problem number one problem number two is i i will give you two lines r is equal to 8a minus 9b plus 10c plus t times 3a minus 16b plus 7c this is line number one and line number two 15a plus 29b plus 5c plus p times 3a plus 8b minus 5c and we are supposed to show are these lines these lines are non coplanar we are supposed to show show that they are non coplanar now to show two lines non coplanar basically we have to show that they do not intersect because if we have two intersecting lines if two lines are actually intersecting then they determine a plane if they are intersecting then they determine a plane and therefore they are coplanar however if we have two lines which are what we call skew lines they don't intersect they are not parallel but they are not intersecting then they don't determine a plane they don't determine a plane uh, of course if two lines are parallel they determine a the plane but we assume that they intersect at infinity so they are intersecting lines so basically to check whether these two lines are non coplanar what is required to be done is to to try to find out the point of intersection point of intersection if we are you are 
successful in finding out both these lines then they are intersecting lines and hence coplanar but if you are not successful in finding out the point of intersection then they are not coplanar they are skew lines so how do we find out the point of intersection of these two lines this is any general point this is any general point of at point of intersection both these r's will be equal therefore you are supposed to equate this with this and hence you will end up getting actually three equations in two unknowns two unknowns will be t and p now after that what will you do when we write this rhs is equal to this rhs you are supposed to collect the coefficients what is the coefficient of a what is the coefficient of b and what is the coefficient of c and as it is given that a b c are non coplanar non zero vectors the brackets must be zero because when we equate them and take it to one side the the other side is zero vector therefore the coefficients all coefficients must be zero and those coefficients will be basically involving a constant something t and something p so that that bracket must be zero every bracket must be zero and like that you will get three brackets one for a one for b and one for c you find out value of t and p using two brackets and check whether those that value satisfies the third or not if it satisfies then you end up having a point of intersection and if it is not satisfying then those three equations are not consistent they they do not have uh, the same solution i mean they the, the solution set of first two is not the same solution set of second two so they are not consistent and that means these two lines do not have any point in common that is how you are supposed to solve question number 2 but i think i have not given you any time I, I, you should have pause the video pause the video the moment i have completed writing this solve it and then listen to the hint and solution the third problem is assuming a and c not collinear examine following lines for their intersection okay so let me give you two lines you are supposed to find out the point of intersection and check whether it exists or not so first line a and c are not co collinear uh, vectors r is equal to 6a minus c plus lambda times 2c minus a and r is equal to a minus c plus mu times a plus 3c so again exactly similar way you just so pause try to solve this and get the point of intersection okay uh, okay so basically if if these two lines are intersecting these two quantities will be equal so you can find out what is the coefficient of a what is the coefficient of c and there are two unknowns and two equations therefore hopefully you should get two values of one value of lambda and one value of mu that will give you the point of intersection the value of lambda that you put if you put it in this whatever value of r you will get will be exactly same as if you put value of mu in the second equation and the answer for this point of intersection is 3a plus 5c so you can find out point of intersection now the next problem is of finding out point of intersection of line with plane so i am taking one example of each type and demonstrating how do we go about it you should solve as many problems as you can so r is equal to 2a plus b plus t times b minus c this is of course the equation of line and r is equal to a plus lambda inside bracket b plus c plus mu times a plus 2b minus c it is the equation of plane now if the line is parallel to the plane it will not intersect else it should so we should get the point of intersection so how do we go about finding out point of intersection again pause try your level best else see this video again we want to find out point of intersection therefore we equate these two quantities and then try to solve we will end up having 
three brackets where we have three unknowns t lambda and mu and hence we should get if those three brackets are good and they give us value of mu lambda and t uh, good real numbers then we should have the point of intersection and if you do it you will get mu is equal to 1 lambda is equal to 0 and t is equal to 1 which makes the point of intersection to a plus to b minus c so this is going to be the point of intersection of a line and plane okay now the next problem is find the equation of line of intersection of two planes so this is the last problem in this series two planes are intersecting now r is equal to b plus lambda 1 times b minus a plus mu 1 times a plus c and r is equal to c plus lambda 2 times b minus c plus mu 2 times a plus b okay now when you solve these two planes simultaneously you are supposed to get equation of line because these two planes will intersect in a line a b c are non coplanar vectors so how do we go about it now again we equate these two and hence we will end up having something so pause the video try to do it let's look at the solution you will end up having some bracket times a plus some bracket times b plus some bracket times c is equal to 0 and now you have practically 4 unknowns lambda 1 lambda 2 mu 1 mu 2 and each one of these brackets must be 0 to make the 0 vector in RHS therefore even if the equations are good you will be able to get values such that there will be uh, one unknown which will still uh, be remaining and that will help you to get the equation of line now that is what is my hint so what you should do is you should look at all these three brackets and check if there is something which you can simplify and get the values and then the moment uh, you get one of them lambda 1 lambda 2 or mu 1 mu 2 a good value you should substitute it in that and then the remaining part is going to be your equation of line so uh, this is a little difficult but i hope you should be able to do it try to look at these three brackets and try to solve them simultaneously so practically we are doing solving equations simultaneously and the equation of line the answer that you will get eventually will be r is equal to b plus lambda 1 times b minus a is going to be the equation of line okay so these are the first four problems fifth problem is another simple problem in the notes you can just go through it i'm not taking in this lecture so this is where we have done so far uh, equation of line equation of plane and we are just dealing with scalar multiple of a vector or vector addition we are not defined the multiplication yet and we should define the scalar product scalar product maybe in the next lecture next video thank you